So apparently PS5 owners prefer physical games. So this comes from an article on Game Rant, but apparently a new report from global sales data suggests that PlayStation 5 owners prefer to purchase physical games over digital games. So that's pretty surprising seeing how there is a digital only PS5. So not really too much of this article, which is really talking about financial reports and stuff like that. But all that data shows is that apparently PlayStation 5 players prefer physical games to digital games. I don't know why it's the case, because obviously I don't know. I mean, I prefer physical games just outright. So of course, me being a PS5 owner, I'm going to buy physical games like I showed in the intro. So one theory that I have is that we're seeing it becoming more common for digital games to be delist delisted. You know, it could be from licensing issues or poor sales or they just feel like getting rid of it. Or like earlier this year when Sony said they're going to shut down the PS3, Vita, and PSP stores. They did backtrack, at least for the Vita and PS3, they're going to shut down the PSP stores though. Or maybe it could be with physical games. If you don't want it anymore, you can sell it. You can rent from like Gamefly. You can lend them to friends or borrow them from friends. And then a lot of times you can get physical games pretty cheap. Like a lot of times when stores are having clearance or something like that, you can get a game pretty cheap. If you look back at all those PS4 games, there's plenty that I got like Best Buy clearance for like $5. Hell, even earlier this year, I believe it was this year, but I've gotten a couple PS3 games at Walmart brand new for like less than $10 each. And those same games on the current PS3 digital storefront are still like 30 bucks. Which granted, 30 bucks isn't like a huge amount of money for a game, depending on the game, I guess. But still, like, I got a deal because I bought a physical version of the game. And I see that a lot. Like, even with PS4 games, they're not even like super old like PS3 games are. I've still like gotten like games for like really cheap and they're still like full priced on the PSN store. So that's another reason why I personally like physical games. And I think other people might do that as well because they can... You can, you know, you can, like I said, you can sell them, you can lend them out, you can borrow, you can rent. There's so much more options you can do with physical games versus digital. Because if you buy a digital game, you just have it forever, which is cool. But you can't do anything with it, you can't transfer it out. If it goes on sale like a week later, you can't get a refund for that. You know, so there's, it's more limiting. But now also, digital gaming does have its benefits. You know, like I talk a lot about like game preservation or like, because back in like the GameCube era, so many, like, there's no digital storefronts, maybe on PCs, but, like, even then, not really. Also, I've heard them in, like, 15 years, so they're not as common to find now, and they're becoming more and more rare as time goes on, and a lot of GameCube games haven't been re-released anywhere, especially first-party Nintendo ones, so there's no other way to buy them. But with digital games, like, if you can't find a physical version of a game, you probably can download it. In most cases, unless you want to get jump forced after August 2022. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, but that's about it for this video. There's really nothing to the article. I thought it was just an interesting thing. I, you know, I kind of made this longer than it really needed to be. But I just wanted to talk about how I think it's personally cool that physical games are more popular in PS5. At least for now. I guess we'll see by the end of the generation.